Hello beauty news family, welcome back to the Makeup Breakup. This is a series where we destroy makeup. So today we are doing a little comparison video. We have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer here. This was actually sent to us by a subscriber, May. Um, and apparently this is a more affordable dupe of the Toucher Silk Canvas Primer. So what we're going to do today is take a close look at both of them. What we've got here is a brand new e.l.f. Paulus Putty and a mini of Toucher the Silk Canvas Primer. Now this is mine. I've used this. Uh, we're not destroying this. We're just using it for textural reference. Um, and this one we're going to destroy. Also going to see how it goes back in the pot. Yes. After it's come out of the pot. So always, it. always interesting to see. All right, let's take a close look at the consistencies. So I'm just gonna scrape off a little bit of this so we can pop it on my hand. Ooh, oh, different. Oh, they already different. Yeah. All right, first things first, I can already tell the scents are different. So the Tatcha Silk Canvas has a very, very soft lemon scent. It's like a really subtle sort of lemon curd. It's very nice. It smells like dessert. Don't eat it. Uh, the Elf has no, no scent. scent. I feel like potentially, just looking here at these swatches, that the Elf looks slightly more grainy than the Tatcha. Not quite as refined. I'm sure that will smooth out when we do our, our little swatchy thing, but I'm gonna have a feel. Initially, these feel pretty much the same, but I actually wanna spread a little bit out over a further distance. So I'm gonna take a little bit of each of these because I've heard a few people say that the elf ones are a lot greasier feeling yeah but I've just felt them you and they still sort of feel the same all right so let's do Tatcha first let's do elf over here I think they're the same. <laughs> <laughs> so we just had a super quick look over the ingredient list and there are some things in there that point towards e.l.f. trying to duplicate the Toucher product. So there's a Camellia sinensis leaf um, extract in there and there's the rice ferment filtrate that's in the Toucher. But in the Elf, they've put in a rice bran wax. I don't think they're the same thing, but I think it's like... I think they're finding sort of cheaper alternatives. Yeah. I yeah. really... I Based on the sort of first few ingredients, and then you go down and you look at some of the unique ingredients, yeah. I think they're trying to dupe it for sure. Yeah. We've had a little play. I've just put them both on my face, and the difference that I noticed straight off the bat, the toucher goes on... A little bit balmy it's a silicon based product but it sets on the skin it doesn't feel greasy uh you can't even really it's almost feel it. like a sort of powder touch yeah yeah it, it's like it, it dries basically whereas the elf stays greasy feel my face cat oh yeah yeah you can feel a difference yeah. yeah so there is a difference and that's not surprising because the ingredient lists are different. So we're gonna destroy it. Let's do it! I want to mush my finger in it. Mushy mushy na 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 Oh scrapey uh, na 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 Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Pursue that curl. Pursue I'm going curl. to. 
Don't let anyone tell you you can't do things that you want to do. Like make shit out of makeup. <laughs> oh, this won't repress. <laughs> like you're not oh, ready to. Really? <laughs> It's turning into like goo. Party fun guy. <laughs> yes. That looks like a pile of lard. <laughs> Should we put it back in? Yes. And see how hard it is to smooth it out. It's <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was a surprise. <laughs> that was a plonk. That's not going to repress, I think. Oh my god, this is disgusting. I, I think it's still usable, but it's, Absolutely. it's not set. That's pretty similar with a lot of cream products. Um, yeah, once so, you agitate yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's not going to go back to its original form. And we have tried um, melting things before, putting them in the fridge, and they don't go back. They no, just melt. No, they again. actually, yeah, they don't go back. And I think it, it would it would actually be like maybe a heat-related thing. Like it's got to be a certain temperature yeah. um, for it to set properly. And I don't know. I don't manufacture makeup. Thank God. Definitely not the exact same product. Um, the toucher has a different feel on the skin. The ingredients are different. But they're similar in the sense that they're both um, solid sort of silicon balm-like priming products. Um, so if you wanted to get an idea of what the toucher is like, but you don't want to spend the money, you could totally pick up the e.l.f. and see how you feel about it. If you guys have tried both of these products and you have an opinion on which is better, let us know down in the comments. And massive thank you to May for sending this over to us for our little investigation. We love this sort of stuff. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.